Hey everybody, this is BBD1875 and welcome back to another episode of BBD's Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. Um, I tried recording, um, this a few seconds ago until, but then my cell phone dropped. I was about to show you where the two, um, gold sculptures are, but just forget it. So might as well, I was just have to say off screen instead, but still, I just got so mad. Is this it? No. Um, no, this is it. The curse has been broken. Here's a word. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. Bam choose. Yeah, n not the best prize you can ever get, but it will be useful for the next for the temple later on. But now we are actually heading up to Zoro's domain because there's trouble. Like there's like there's not anything else, um, in Hyrule right now. It's just, oh gosh. So we could just cross through here. We could dress. We could ride on Pona. No, well, let's might as well do that. Just ride on Pona. Just make it a lot more faster, a lot more easier. Just do. I mean, it's much more better just. I mean, you could swim, but trying to go against the current is kind of lame. So, is that right here? What? An arctic wind is blowing in from Sora Samain. Do you feel it? Okay, we were just about to go there right now, so thank you for the obvious. Let's enter into Zora's river. And, um... There's these two hard pieces that you can get, but I think you can always get them as a child. But I tried doing this as an adult, it's kind of pretty hard to do. If you plant your magic bean, you can just take the shortcut away. And down right over here, and onto here. Simple as that. If I would have done it for um, um, Death Mountain, it, it would have been easier. But me being my stupid self, just, well, you know. So this lullaby, and that will open up the waterfall. Lovely song. Lovely song. And I really gotta be careful with my, um, camera. It hopefully it won't drop again. If I could just adjust a little bit, and there we go. Entering the domain. Hmm. No. <sighs> That's... wow. I haven't seen snow like this since ever this winter. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is like the warmest winter we have in like, ever. I was just so happy that there was like, no four feet of terrible, terrible, terrible snow. It's just... So awful. But the only bad part is I still have to go to school. But the good part is just not worrying about the cold winter days is just so amazing. Now we're already heading on to spring, even though spring hasn't actually officially come yet. So that's good. That's good. I mean, just about everybody who lives in the area where I live just was enjoying the no snow days. Well, except for the people who didn't get a chance to like snowboard or or ski, because wh where I live is like the best place to like um ski or snowboard. Trust me, it's like near Canada, and my phone is dropping. It's always doing that. I mean, I'm telling you, this is the worst way to record. Just, just let the string of your sweat sweatshirt hang with your cell phone, and just try to record anything, everything you can. It's just stupid. Oh wait, I have to go climb through here. If I could climb, that'll be good. Come on, up. Oh. Now, actually I'm trying to get this heart piece over here, 
This is like so easy to get. Yay! And that will refill our health since we need that so badly. Now, and cross these circular, t circular like depths of ice over here. And enter a semi dungeon like sort of thing. This is actually where you can get an item, but having to go all the way through this cavern just to get one simple item for the next temple. I just think that's just a little unfair, don't you think? And now it just looks... I gotta start complaining about how the color looks on here. Ah, I hate this. I hate these enemies so much. I don't even know what they're called anyway. Oh god. Oh god. Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? There. There we go. And hopefully I got... I got a bug here. Let's take that out. We don't need that bug. We just need something to put in this bottle. Actually, two things to put in this bottle. And these stupid traps. God, I hate these traps so much. I remember playing, seeing those traps when I played the NES version. It's just so horrible. When you come up to two over here, um, silver rupee challenge. This is kind of like um, the eight red coin challenges like you see in Super Mario Bros. But it's just rupees, that's all. Just silver rupees. All there is. And there's one hidden right over here. Just get that and it'll unlock the store right over here. That door is needed, can be used for later on, but just hold on to that for right now. Now going through this door right over here. You come across an enemy. The same thing. I don't really know the name of it. Some stupid traps. My phone is falling again. And you come across this room, and this is like the most annoying room in like ever. I just hate it so much. I mean, everything's all just ice and stuff, and there's these ice cubes too that are gonna come and attack you and freeze you up, and we don't want to be frozen. Nobody wants to be frozen. Especially where, especially the people where I live. And I got frozen! Oh, That's so stupid. And we get blue fire. And we need, also need two because you need to unlock this one door too. So might as well get that out of the way. My phone is slipping. Again. Why does it keep doing that? My phone. Just like flips and I got a lot of spit that's my making my cell phone drop so I'm gonna catch you guys later see you later peoples